app which we have created on Thunkable. I hope you remember this, uh, which we have already created, right? So if you don't know or if you have not remembered, so just go watch my series, right? So that you can understand what exactly I'm talking about. Go to Thunkable series, right? So now uh, we are creating a video player app. So in that Thunkable app, we have created, um, we had to record a video and that video would play on the screen, right? That's what we have created as a video player app, right? On Thunkable, uh, there was some limitation. So we, we could only create that kind of a thing, right? So this video player is basically any video if you want, you can select from your phone and that video will be played on the screen. Okay. So this is, um, I mean, for the name video player, we're actually doing uh, similar to that, right? So this, this is going to be a different one. Okay. And it's a very simple app also. So yeah, quickly, let's get started. If you have not been watching my series yet, please do go back to my channel and uh, keep watching. So you can start with a new playlist and uh, yeah, to subscribe to my channel, folks have. All right. <laughs> so starting off with the video player, first we have to design the app, right? Let's let's create a good design. Of course, we can do a basic design here, right? So a line horizontal can be center. I think that's it. That's it. It's going to be. And background color. So I would I would prefer giving giving a gray color. What do you guys think? I, I think I never use this kind of a pink color, right? Let's use it. So yeah, I would just say big default text because it, uh, it just uh, reduces the time for me. Uh, rather writing font sizes again and again now uh, it just fixes the font size right now now what else we will be needing so first thing is the title always we do the same right so let's just give font bold font italic background color maybe i would uh, use a pink color like pink background and pink color so text for label one on the text we would say um, video player right yeah i hope this works and and then the next one uh, after video player we will be using a row component okay so here in thunkable you will have a row component to align uh, to align elements horizontally, right? So, but here we do not have a row component. Instead, you have a horizontal arrangement. So just grab horizontal arrangement. And on the right side, you can change the properties of the same. So align horizontal can be center and align vertical can be center too. And I'm not giving any background color. I wish not to. So let it be that. So let's change the width. We have multiple options here. So you can give automatic or you can give fill parent if you want to fill parent, right? Or you can give 100% if you want to fill the entire screen. Then you can give uh, pixels also if you want to specify some number of pixels. But I would say fill parent uh, so that it occupies the entire screen and we can place the elements easily inside this, right? So horizontal arrangement, we call it as horizontal arrangement, okay? This is equivalent to row component in your Thunkable. Now I just need two buttons. So I'm just dragging uh, one here and the other one here. So on button one, you can just let's say i want to give font bold font italic maybe this time i will just change the shape to oval cool so let's give background color background color let's say let's say a different shade of pink because wait let's click on custom and Oh, 
okay let's see this oh my god hmm so i'm not sure if i want to keep this or no i'm really not sure <laughs> i think uh, yeah let it be let it be no problem so let's change this to open button that means this will open the video for us right when you click on this button and uh, you can see the list of videos which you have in your gallery right you can click on one to watch it on this app okay next one uh, let's say this as um, so what can be given open button and uh, full screen button okay so to make your video full screen you can just use this full screen button okay and i'm just changing the shape as oval uh, let's give a i'm just giving a green color just just for a change nothing much okay so yeah this is all about it uh, i hope we have everything font bold and font italic is not matching i think i would change the font pref uh, typeface sorry so it, let it be serif uh, looks more raw professional for me right so let's click on this and change the font typeface as serif cool so maybe i can still increase the size to 40 i like it good now now we have everything in place right what next we have to do okay so before that i would just change the horizontal arrangement to color none so i think this is better next after this horizontal arrangement i will be needing a video player component okay so rather searching for it i will show you where it is right so in the layout you have a horizontal arrangement you can get it from here and in media you have um, video player okay just dragging and placing it over here right so you can see this is a visible component only okay and you can adjust the height and width so i would say height fill parent and width fill parent okay so that it can occupy the entire screen basically like this right because i don't have any other components on the screen so i want my video itself to occupy the entire screen okay so that's why and later on now uh, we have to add activity starter right so it will be in um, connectivity so this is a non visible component actually so this is one of the very um, useful components we can say all right so why am i calling this as useful components is it can trigger any activity in your phone so that's why we call this as activity starter okay triggering an activity is basically like to open some certain thing here like we are uh, using activity starter to open the videos in your phone okay so to do such kind of activities we can use activity starter okay we'll get to know more about it if uh, we are doing uh, more right so we'll uh, we'll do more and here on the right side you have to specify the action and you have to specify like what exactly you want to perform right so what is going to be our action here so the action is basically we have to go to videos wherever your videos are we have to go there in your uh, phone right so to do such kind of a thing we have to write something the the path of the thing we have to mention here so let, let's just write it so the action is basically this android dot intent dot action dot okay and then you will have to specify get underscore content okay this is going to be our action so whatever you click on it has to get that particular thing right so that's why we are using this thing get content okay and from where so from android dot intent dot action you will be getting the content and data type is basically video data type so video slash star 
so this would get the uh, video things okay this is how you have to um, start with your activity starter now let's go to blocks and start coding for this right so coding is pretty much simple when open button is clicked so here you have button one which is open button so if you are getting confused with this you can simply click on button rename your button okay so this is gonna be open button right and button two is gonna be full screen button so full screen button not dull screen button <laughs> cool so okay let's go to blocks again so when open button is clicked right so basically we just want a activity starter to start its activity right so let's go to activity starter and let's get method call just call activity starter start activity okay and then now after this activity app happens right that means when activity when activity starter after activity so when you click on the video that is after activity only right so the result will be inside this get result over here when you just place your cursor over here you can get the setter and getter blocks this is the beauty here and uh, now we have to set this result on video player because on video player we can play the videos right so you can get um, any setter block right so set video player source to get result okay so basically uh, you can get the result from activity starter itself so go to activity starter you can get any light green block and you can just attach this to video source okay so set activity starter result uri so result uri is basically like uniform um, resource identifier okay usually you say url right uniform resource locator locator is like the link okay so uri is the identifier okay so activity starters result uri basically has whatever the user has picked that video is there and that is given as source to your video player to start playing things basically okay now uh, start activity to start the activity to show the videos after picking something that is set as the video player source so with this you're opening and you're playing the video also okay now then we have full screen button right so when full screen button is clicked then what should happen with the full screen button right so we have to set video players full screen basically so you can get this uh, setter block set video players full screen to true so that it can go back to the full screen okay that's how simple it is right so this is all about your um, video player app right let's clean up so when you clean up it just uh, clean i mean gets all the blocks into one place and it will align them that's it okay so this is all about your video player i hope you got this very well right it's pretty simple and uh, pretty much straightforward to understand we do not have um, multiple things over here we are just directly creating a video player this is how simple it is okay so and this was all about our today's session guys i i hope you all enjoyed this and you all like it right so if you have any concerns you can do let me know in the comment section below so i will be meeting you all in the next session and till then you know what you have to do you just have to keep watching my videos okay please do like comment share and subscribe to my channel folks huh thank you so much for watching this video guys bye bye and have a great day all